What's up everybody, it's your boy Marsman here, and today we're going to talk about Nintendo. To be honest with you, Nintendo recently for me has been a little weird. They've been very quiet on any sort of announcement for the new Nintendo Switch upgrade, and the fact that we really haven't been getting a lot of new IPs other than getting Legend of Zelda and Pikmin, I feel like we've been kind of in the dark about a lot of new upcoming games. And obviously we've heard in the past the wrecks they've had over the summer, that we would be getting new games for this generation but the question is whether or not you should invest in these titles or just wait for the switch 2 to come out did it get you excited for any ips in the near future do they seem like they're worth buying i'll give the good the bad the ugly and answer these questions in my final verdict. Let's start off with the good. Over when I think about Nintendo Direct, they've usually always been pretty consistent on giving us something to work with. And when I look at new IPs that Nintendo has been dropping, this Peach Showtime game is surprisingly very interesting. I mean, let's be real. I mean, Peach has not really been getting a lot of new games in many, many years. So when all of a sudden, when Nintendo says, hey, we're gonna drop a new title for Peach, only her and the Toads, you can understand my worry. Because in reality, not nothing against Peach at all because she is a good character, but she really hasn't had many games to really hang her hat on. So all of a sudden when we see a new IP like Peach Showtime, I really think it actually seems like a pretty interesting game. The fact you have all these different worlds where you can basically turn into different characters based on the acts or the performances that are going to be there does give this game a very interesting art style and gives Peach a kind of her own realm to, to really combat against opponents because most likely in every peach game that we had mario would be the one that we would go with most of the time so why would we expect anything different in this new ip but the fact that in every single trailer there is no sign of him so it kind of gives her her own space to work and just be her own character and this could go really well or really badly but all the signs are pointing in the positive direction which is definitely a good thing in my opinion now this direct basically came off as almost Almost being a remastering a thon because of the fact that we had several different remastered games that had been announced for the switch ports in the upcoming months leading into 2024 we often respect the fact that paper mario a thousand year door getting its own remaster for the nintendo switch roughly 20 years after its original release has been sought after and finally the prayers have been answered paper mario a thousand year door is considered to be in my opinion one of the best turn-based rpgs or strategy games out there because of the fact that it's just been such a hidden gem with an overall fun experience, great art style, funny commentary, and the fact that it was just very unique for its time really hit all the marks that you would want for a Mario game. I honestly am just elated at the fact that we're getting this, but not only are we getting Paper Mario 1000 in your door, we're also getting Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. And I'm honestly just happy that more people will get to experience the Dark Moon or the sequel to the original Luigi's Mansion game because of the fact that it was only on 3DS. And I was always a fan of the portable Nintendo console so I was able to experience it when it first released but there's a lot of people out there that have not been able to experience it for themselves and it is definitely a gem Luigi's Mansion series has always been a heavy hitter for Nintendo and I gotta respect them on the fact they're bringing this one back as well but with the good we do need to talk about the bad the problem with having good remasters is the fact that you're not getting new IPs. Now granted, I'm not saying that this showcase or direct did not give any new IPs because we did get Princess Peach Showtime and other titles that kind of like give us a sense of feeling that we're getting something new, but we're getting the same old stuff or remakes of old games that just really are not new. As much as I love Paper Mario a Thousand Year Door and Super Mario RPG and Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, these are all remasters. They're all just games that were on older consoles that are getting a refresh and it just feels like you're wasting your time or worse yet, you're taking resources that could be used for new IPs and putting them to just remastering old games and charging them at full price. And I think that's the most outrageous thing that that really Nintendo and multiple different game companies have done before. And it's really unfortunate that they go to that length. And when I'm looking at just the, the greedy or the really dumb decisions made by Nintendo, I'm going to look at Mario Kart 2. I mean, the fact that Mario Kart has been continuing these seasonal passes or expansions and now we're getting to the point where half of the things that they're dropping for you are legit just just boring like the fact that we're getting characters like peach et it, it just seemed lazy to me like are you kidding we're getting what we're getting diddy kong funky kong pauline peach et. like what, what you're telling me peach et is an actual character that you took time to develop like maybe start developing the new mario kart game like maybe go along those lines and maybe they are developing it but Damn, it just feels like you're wasting 
effort on something so small that like it's just like i'm laughing at myself peach ed there's so many different characters that you could include here i just don't understand what the point of that is and with the bad we have to talk about the straight up ugly i don't know about you guys but i feel like i have blue balls not having a new mario or dk game we have been waiting for so many years at this point that i the last time i saw a independent mario 3d game was odyssey which was in my opinion one of the best games of the year and you're telling me that nintendo has not even announced a development of a new Mario Odyssey game or a new Mario IP. Like, what the hell are you doing? And and, and for God's sakes, Donkey Kong has been put on the shelf. The, the, I've seen Donkey Kong more in a movie, TV show possibilities, and, and fan art than I've seen him in an actual new game. And they have the balls, the chutzpah, to go out and basically give us a Mario versus Donkey Kong remastered game and expect fans to not be pissed off or annoyed that we aren't getting a new Donkey Kong styled game. Hell, give me a Donkey Kong Country. Give me something. You're telling me you guys can't develop multiple different characters at the same time? Two of your biggest characters, your first characters of your game company, Mario and Donkey Kong, are not even... <laughs> they haven't had an IP in years. Hell, even, even F-Zero got a new game announced. And you're telling me that you're not going to give us a new IP for those two big-ass characters? It's just it's just sad. And lastly, the fact that we haven't got any sort of news on Metroid Prime 4 is, is definitely just a buzzkill. I mean, I, I, I'm i happy to see that we're getting news about the Sumer RPG and more updated information about these new games or even just remasters. But the fact that this hype, very hyped Metroid Prime 4 is, is still in the woodwork or there's no news on it They're, like you can get people excited for these possibility of games and it just feels like as if nintendo is kind of milling it in waiting for the next console to drop and at least then give us information about that stuff let us know about what you what you're working on what you're what you're cooking up and overall when i think my final verdict this is not a a necessarily horrible direct by nintendo i think there was some excitement that went along with it obviously giving us some some more information on remastered games with sumer rpg paper mario a thousand year door and luigi's mansion dark mood all those things are good i think the the fact that we're getting a new peach ip and it actually looks pretty interesting with with unique combat the very similar to yoshi's woolly world and this all sounds great but the problem i have with nintendo at this moment is it feels as if they're taking a lot of resources that could be used for making new games and using it to remaster old ones and i feel as if you're wasting really really a lot of momentum that nintendo switch has which is still selling better than any console by the way that you could be you getting more sales more buys of game by just putting out a new mario 3d game or a new donkey kong game or at least announce it if you announce it and hype it up for possibly the release in 2024 where supposedly the nintendo switch 2 is supposed to drop you're telling me that people wouldn't be extremely excited to jump into those games with the feeling that there's a new console on the way i mean and all the leaked ru rumored images and specs are all pointing in the right direction the question is now going to be what games are going to play on it and my hopes is and it seems as if this is the this is the case based on information that it's going to be backward compatible with all these switch games so that means that if that's the case then why are you waiting to announce a new mario ip why don't you just announce it now and when the system drops you can kind of say hey this is our launch game for this so you should buy the console with this title but what do you think about nintendo direct are you excited for the possibility of playing all these new titles or remasters let me know what you think in the comments below and if you like this type of content make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content until next time this is marsman signing off peace out guys